Hey guys, Nick from Once Upon a Diamond here, and today we're going to be learning how to use the jeweler's loop. Having one of these handy is a great idea because they're used in a variety of different applications. One being diamonds and gemstones, but also antique and estate jewelry, looking at hallmarks on sterling silver, stamps, coin collecting, knife sharpening, dentistry, really anything that's going to require turning your hand into a small microscope. Now we're going to take a look at some of the tools that I use when looking at diamonds or gemstones. For general purposes, I use 10 times magnification triplet loop, which is a standard for evaluating gems. Here you can see I have several different triplet loops from 10 times up to 30 times magnification, and even a lighted loop with a white and fluorescent option. I also like to have tweezers and a diamond polishing cloth. So your loop is going to open up like this. I like to hold the loop by running my ring finger through the loop and holding it just like a ring. So I'm wearing glasses, so what I'm going to do is bring the loop right up to my lens. If you're not wearing glasses, use your thumb and put that right against your cheek, and that's gonna be a guide on where you're going to hold it at. The next thing I'm going to do is bring my tweezers up until they come into focus. I have both eyes open, and then I'm going to be using my pinky as a stabilizer. This is just what's comfortable for me. I have both eyes open and I'm using my, my opposite hand to rotate and look at whatever I'm holding in the tweezers. Another way of doing this is using your ring and middle finger as a stabilizer as well. So you bring your piece in, you hold it, and then you're going to use your opposite hand to rotate and look at your stone. That's really all there is to it. Thanks for watching.